All right, I'm throwing the body today. So this could be the body of your teapot or your lantern. It's gonna be about the same thing. Your lantern would probably be a little more tall, um, somewhat more cylinder-like, whereas your teapot, you wanna consider it being more rounded. But either way, I'm throwing a lidded vessel today. So I'm already on center. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start off the same way we always start, which is, anybody? A cylinder. Mm. I'm gonna open my base wide enough that I'll be able to fit a candle in. Now, if you were doing a teapot, your base probably doesn't need to be as wide. As I'm pulling up, I want to keep this nice and straight. When I get to the top, compress my rim. Should you compress your rim on every pull? Every pull, you should compress your rim. Helps keep your rim nice and straight. And this is especially important when throwing a loaded vessel because you want your lip to be somewhat thicker because you are going to have to make that interior ledge that we were discussing earlier. All right. I'm going to start to form my lantern. And what I want to do here is I'm going to start to form it sort of like how we were working with our vases. I'm gonna to start to bubble from the bottom because I'd like my bottom to be nice and wide where I'm going to be working with my piercings. And now that I'm getting to the top, I'm gonna to collar this top in. I'm gonna hold it all the way up to the lip. I just want this whole end to angle inward. my lip nice and thick. You don't want your lip to be too thin. All right. Let's clean this up a bit. Oop. Don't lose your rib when you do that. I want this to be relatively smooth here because I am going to be doing piercings on this. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time, extra time, smoothing out the exterior. Okay. I'm also I'm going to leave my base somewhat wider than I typically would. If I was going to be cleaning up, say I was throwing a vase, um, just because I want this to be very sturdy. I am going to be putting candles in it. It's probably going to be existing outside. So keep it nice and sturdy there. All right, so my form's pretty good now at this point. So now I'm going to start to work on the lip. And this is the important part. This is the part that you guys haven't done yet. Once you have your top here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lip and I'm going to pinch it up. I'm just going to pinch my lip straight up and down. Kind of like making a really short neck. Okay. So now that that's straight up and down, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be pulling the base of this outward a little bit. So I'm going to pinch my lip somewhat taller. I'm just going to hold my two fingers here. And you'll start to see this little ledge will start to form. Not completely yet, that's just with my fingers. It's starting to form somewhat. Now using my fingers, I'm going to go underneath. Should I zoom in a little bit? If you would like to, please. So you can, just, you know, cut, copy, So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of holding my fingers and I'm just pulling up from right underneath where my neck starts. And I'm just going to do a little pinch. I'm trying to get my fingers where you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hold the outside I'm going to pinch the inside a little bit and it's just going to naturally, the clay is going to start to work with you and it's going to start to form. You're eventually going to have to use a tool for this and you don't want this lip to get too thin or else it's not going to be able to sustain your piece. So you can see how this ledge is starting to form here. 
Now I'm gonna get a tool. The tool should be relatively flat on one end. You can also use the flat part of your wood tool. Either way, you want it to be on a 90 degree angle. Can I go to the side just so I can get the... Sure. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna hold that tool. Look at that. Just gonna hold the outside just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my tool and just cup up underneath. it out with your fingers. And it's just holding steady, that's all you're doing. Okay. So you have a little ledge now that's sitting on the inside. That's where your piece is going to rest. That's where your lid's gonna rest. So now I'm just gonna smooth off my lip. Can you grab me a clay board, Katie? Okay. Smooth off my lip. If I need to smooth off this inside, I can. Okay, give that a little more pinch. Okay, so now I'm ready to take this off the wheel, and then we're going to talk about throwing off the hump. Before I take this off the wheel, I'm going to measure it with my calipers. Okay, and you are measuring the inside section. Okay, the inside, so from inside to inside. It's so right here. All right, so inside to inside, that's measured. I'll put these off to the side. Take this off the wheel. And cut. 